In this video, I'm going to show you how to run some of the spread air raid concepts out of the uh, U-Trips formation. We're going to be taking a look at the play Y-Cross out of the air raid. I love this play. We're going to show you how to do it out of U-Trips, um, which I believe is one of the best ways to run a spaced out spread style uh, passing attack. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link is going to be in the description of the video down below. It's just 10 bucks to get access to that. You'll get access to all of our ebooks and offensive and defensive ebooks, all the updates to them as well. So if you want to become a Patreon member, the link is down in the description. Let's talk about U-Trips. What makes U-Trips so good? I think one of the things that makes U-Trips so good is the, I think it has actually probably just as good, if not better spacing uh, than trips tied in. This is one of the reasons why I think you see a lot of TNC run it. Um, this is a really, really, really good formation. So uh, what we're going to talk about today is the Y cross concept. To run a Y cross concept effectively, um, I, you mainly, you don't need a ton. Um, you, you really don't. You're looking for some type of crossing route, right? The play stutter curl seam uh, will be fine for what we're going to be needing it to do. But another thing is I'm going to show you how to, how to actually use a tight end apprentice to make a really good Y cross concept just straight out on the field. Uh, so I'm gonna put it one audible in here. I'm gonna put the, I wanna say is it tight end whip or pat slot out, pat slot out. Let's use pat slot out um, because we can take advantage of that really good post route in pat slot out. So, uh, all right, stutter curl seam is kind of the base if you don't have hot route master uh, to create this and then we'll show you what to do if you do have like uh, route, apprent route apprentices and stuff like that. So um, the Y cross is a very simple, very, very simple concept, right? What we're trying to do is we're trying to essentially take this receiver and cross it under the SAM over the mic across the formation. We need some type of clear out route, and then we need some type of attacking out route to the left side. This can look different depending on what you have available to you. Okay, so like in this example, his crossing route and the way his depth is going to be spaced. It doesn't make sense necessarily, in my opinion, to put this guy on a five yard out route, right? Because he's not, because of the spacing of the play. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna streak CD Lamb, we're gonna use this running back out route, and then we're gonna take Calvin Johnson and we're gonna put him on a flat, and then we're gonna put Debo Samuel on a smart routed in. So this is Y cross in uh, kind of a simpler form, more, uh, I think just more of an organic form. And what you're gonna notice here is this crossing route is going to be really effective against man coverage. As you can see right there, gets across the formation, gets into a soft spot against man to man coverage. Now again, he's gonna go over the SAM and under the, or he's gonna go under the SAM, over the mic. So like, let's talk about cover three. For example, here you have a high low on the left. So you can take your flat to your back or you can take your tight end. Now, you might want to go ahead and take that running back and put him on a smart or like on a regular out route because it's going to cut sharper and sometimes he'll actually be able to get some separation against man to man. So you might want to put that running back on a smart route or not a smart route out route, but a, a, a hot route, just a standard hot routed out route. Now, the other thing that you're going to have is if they suck up to the running back, then you're going to have this to your crosser on that sideline. So let's say that they go to cover three hard flats, and the reason they might want to do that is because they're trying to stop your running back quick throws. They're trying to stop your flat routes to the left side, and cover three hard flats is kind of a standard coverage you're going to face. What you can have here is this deep in route, freeform that down. Hopefully he'll actually catch it, but you have that, that deep in route over there on the left is going to be an option for you in the situation that you face some type of cover three coverage where they're doing this. So you'll see right here, just pass it right in between the yellows and the deep blues, and you've got a really nice little play. Now, how do you run this play if you actually have a uh, hot route master? This is where I love to play Pat slot out because it gives you this rounded out route to Calvin Johnson. That's a kind of unique route in the formation. You also have, uh, let me go ahead and tweak my, my, uh, my roster here to get a little bit better abilities. We're going to put Calvin on the left, and we're going to put CD in the slot. Because when you put short in elite on that pat slot out route, it's going to make it really effective against man coverage. And I'll show you. So if you look to the right here, you're going to see this route to CD Lamb. Sometimes it just, it just cooks man to the outside. So it makes it a flat route, but it's a flat route that now beats man to the right. Okay. Now what we can do here is a couple of different variations of, of Y cross, but really put the tight end on the crosser 
and then we're going to take the back and we're going to put him on the out. Fairly simple, straightforward. Um, and what you'll see here is this route to this post is going to get a little bit more of a sharp cut against man. It's going to be a little bit more effective. This setup is really just by and large more effective against man to man. Okay, it's really good against man. Uh, you'll see here this crosser gets separation against man across the middle, real nice. And then you have some other things against zone. So like if it's zone, let's say that it's cover two, for example. This um, this uh, da, 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 what's this? Calvin Johnson, the solo receiver, is on the short side of the field. So you could get you know some decent separation on that. Um, that was a terrible throw. Uh, I thought he was going to keep running. Um, you can get some decent separation on cover two, which I'll try to show you that um, here. So what can happen with this play, if you leave this this uh, post route, it's a little better. It's like if you put a post instead of a crosser. And if you have tight end apprentice, you could, you could probably do both. You could freeform up and outside and have a shot at hitting that over the top um, of the defense, right? I actually think cover two does a decent job, but again, it does come back to a little bit of a degree of how are they shading, how are they going? It's like you can take that little quick flat read against that because there's not they're not playing hard flats. So we force them to play hard flats on both sides. And I think that's part of the piece of why this formation is so good. So like right here, not playing hard flats. Okay, we'll take the flat and we'll take our 15 yards, run after catch uh, yardage. So now it just kind of shifts the defense to having to be a little bit more cognizant, a little bit more aware of the fact that you are, you do have the potential to, to take my, you know, take your flat, right? So now my tight end gets a lot more open over the middle of the field. Now, what about double Mabel? Okay, glad you asked. So what about double flatting? Um, so if they double flat, one of the things you got to look for here is really the main read on Y cross whenever they're starting to do that is their user is going to have to use that tight end for a little bit, and then you're going to try to take that backside in route just like that right there. Y cross is an incredible passing concept. It's one of the best passing concepts in all of Madden, and U trips just happens to be one of the best offenses in all of Madden. If you want to get my entire U trips offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon for just $10. You're going to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release. So make sure to sign up for the Patreon. The link is down in the description below.